Welcome back. It is 936. Pancreatic cancer considered one of the deadliest forms of cancer with a very low survival rate after five years of diagnosis. So when former Air Force and Marine veteran Craig Warner received the life altering diagnosis, he searched out a second opinion from a doctor who he says saved his life. This morning, we are joined by Dr. C Dean Sarwas at Northwestern Medicine Lake Forest Hospital, and we hope that Craig will join us eventually. But doctor, thanks for joining me this morning because this is an incredible story. Thank you. Great to be here. So, so. Let's, let's kind of go over what happened here. So Craig was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer, which is said to have a typical six to 12 month survival rate. He goes for a second opinion. He comes to see you. Tell me what happened from that point and what kind of difference did the treatment you chose make? Sure, we, uh, we confirmed that Craig had stage four disease, but we did biomarker testing, which is testing to determine how Craig might respond to novel immune therapy. And what we found, lo and behold, was that Craig had a marker that predicted he would respond well to immunotherapy. Treating with immunotherapy, he did amazingly well. He had a complete remission, he was treated for two years and remains in remission to this day. Well, that, a, that is incredible. And there he is with his daughter. And this is a beautiful thing because he was able to walk her down the aisle for her wedding, as I understand. Now, you say it was a novel approach. So is this something that's new? And is this something that could help a lot of people with this similar type of pancreatic cancer? Because it is so deadly. Sure. It, 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 this is new. And... It's not widely done, this biomarker testing, but as we become more advanced in the field, we're doing more and more of this testing to make sure that patients are determined if they do respond to immune therapy. And Craig fortunately had this particular mutation where he determined that he would benefit and that he did. Well, and we have Craig joining us now. Craig, can you hear me? It's Sylvia Perez. How are you? Loud and, loud and clear. Loud All and clear. right. It's so good to see you, Craig. And, and you came in just in time because the doctor was telling us about this treatment. Um, I want you to tell me what was this treatment like for you? Uh, what difference did it make for you? Because you must have gone in there knowing when you had this diagnosis that the odds were going to be tough. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when you get that stage four pancreatic cancer diagnosis, the, the outcome doesn't sound too rosy. You know, we started out on, on, on a chemotherapy with all the side effects you get from chemo. And then, uh, you know, we switched to immunotherapy, which was a cakewalk compared to chemo. Uh, every three weeks, uh, just about a 30 minute drip from an IV uh, uh, bag. And, uh, you know, I had a little rash as a, as a side effect. And uh, uh, I mean, other than that, I didn't feel anything. I just, I felt pretty much normal. And uh, every, uh, you know, through, through the whole thing, it was just, uh, uh, you know, not a problem. It just seemed everything seemed, seemed okay, you know? And you know, I, I love having you on, both of you actually, because I think you are giving hope to other people. And, and, and I know, Craig, that that's your mission as well, because here you were diagnosed. Um, despite all of this, you went through this novel treatment that has made a difference. You got to walk your daughter down the aisle. And I understand that you also sailed in the Mackinac race and actually won in 2020, despite everything. Tell me about that. So it was 2021 this year, and uh, yeah, we won the J105 section, our boat's named uh, uh, Sealark, and it was my 35th MAC race. Uh, and, it, you know, it, for all of us that sail that race, that's that's the big big one to do well in. And it's usually just a, a, a great uh, a great kick just to finish it. But, uh, you know, this year we uh, whipped up on the competition and won. So it, That is fantastic, and that is so inspirational. So what do you want to say to people who have uh, these life altering diagnoses like you did about how you continued and what difference it made? The, the first thing, you know, I would tell anybody that, that's got a stage four pancreatic cancer, any pancreatic cancer diagnosis, it, it's not to give up hope. Uh, I was, uh, you know, mine was painted in some of the more bleak terms. Uh, and yet here I am, you know, cancer free and living, living a full life. And I, I, I'd say that's the kind of attitude you got to put in your mind that you're, you're going to get through this thing, you're going to do well, and you're going to put this behind you at some point. Well, doctor, I want to ask you, um, have you seen the same type of reaction to this treatment in other patients or was Craig one of the first? 
Well, fortunately, I've seen it in other, other patients as well. This is a new therapy that as we advance the field, we're seeing it happen more and more where patients respond to immunotherapy. So hopefully Craig will be one of many in the future going forward as, as the research advances. And what kind of difference did Craig's attitude make in this, doctor? Well, Craig's always been very optimistic. He's had look, look forward to goals like the Mac race and his daughter's wedding. That helps drive him through, and he, he did so wonderful with this treatment. Okay, Craig, what's next for you? Are you going to win, win the Mac next year as well? What are your plans for the future? Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to win a big time. <laughs> I, you know, I don't even know why anybody else would show up. So that's our, that's our goal. <laughs> I love that attitude. Obviously, a great attitude like that can make a difference in anyone's life, no matter what the prognosis is. And we want to thank both of you for joining us this morning. I think it's important for people to hear this story. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Thank you, Sylvia. Okay, great you, to meet you. You guys take care. All right. Thank you.